Are you thinking of getting a cloud lifter, but you're not sure if you really need it? Well, that's going to depend on a few things. First, how much gain your audio interface or mixer preamp has. It depends on what mic you're going to use to record and the loudness of the source that you wish to record. To use your cloud lifter, you'll need an extra XLR cable between your mic and the preamp. So start with your interface preamp gain all the way down and make sure that you've turned on phantom power. Then slowly bring up the gain to the desired level. You can think of the cloud lifter as a pre preamp. Here's a vocal comparison of a Shure SM7B running into a Scarlett 2i2 interface. The first clip has the mic pre at maximum gain and the second clip will have the same amount of gain provided by the cloud lifter. Now this lowers the amount of gain that's needed from the interface preamp. The cloud lifter converts phantom power into 25 decibels of clean gain. This is useful for boosting the output of low output dynamic or ribbon microphones. Sometimes a cloud lifter is required when these low output microphones are used with audio interfaces that are designed to gain up more high output condenser microphones. Well, the interface can certainly pass the signal and can even be driven to the max gain to chase the desired level. This runs the risk of unwanted noise coloring the signal. To hear this comparison, we'll listen to this clip played again with a cloud lifter at the same level. The cloud lifter converts phantom power into plus 25 dB of clean gain. This is useful for boosting the output of low output dynamic or ribbon microphones. Sometimes a cloud lifter is required when these low output microphones are used with audio interfaces that are designed to gain up more high output condenser microphones. While the interface can certainly pass signal and even be driven to the maximum gain to chase the desired level, this runs a higher risk of unwanted noise coloring the signal. And if that didn't do it for you, let's hear what happens when we add some compression. I'm going to add two compressors in series, the first one set a bit slower to even out the level, and a faster one to grab any remaining peaks. Then we'll grab a limiter and crank it up 10 dB of gain to really bring that vocal up and make any differences more audible. The cloud lifter converts phantom power into 25 decibels of clean gain. This is useful for boosting the output of low output dynamic or ribbon microphones. Sometimes a cloud lifter is required when these low output microphones are used with audio interfaces that are designed to gain up more high output condenser microphones. Well, the interface can certainly pass the signal and can even be driven to the max gain to chase the desired level. This runs the risk of unwanted noise coloring the signal. To hear this comparison, we'll listen to this clip played again with a cloud lifter at the same level. The cloud lifter converts phantom power into plus 25 dB of clean gain. This is useful for boosting the output of low output dynamic or ribbon microphones. Sometimes a cloud lifter is required when these low output microphones are used with audio interfaces that are designed to gain up more high output condenser microphones. While the interface can certainly pass signal and even be driven to the maximum gain to chase the desired level, this runs a higher risk of unwanted noise coloring the signal. Now a shorter clip with 20 dB of gain added. The cloud lifter converts phantom power into 25 decibels of clean gain. This is useful for boosting the output of low output dynamic or ribbon microphones. The cloud lifter converts phantom power into plus 25 dB of clean gain. This is useful for boosting the output of low output dynamic or ribbon microphones. So what do you think? Do you need an inline preamp? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. In this test with the 2i2, I definitely found that the cloud lifter was useful for lowering the noise floor, but will you benefit? Well, if you're using a condenser mic, probably not. An inline preamp is not necessary as most interfaces are designed with enough gain to power condenser microphones. But a dynamic mic, however, yes. Well, maybe. While dynamic mics are usually lower output signals, remember that there are two other considerations, the volume of your source and the gain of your preamp. I have mentioned how some interface preamps can definitely be boosted by a cloud lifter, but only when the source requires doing so drums, guitar cabinets, they likely won't need one, but your SM7B voiceovers likely would. Hey, thanks so much for watching till the end. Please subscribe if you haven't already because our next goal is to hit 100,000 subscribers. So if you are subscribed, thank you so much. There's a lot of cool stuff coming up that I'm really excited about. We'll see you guys in the next one. 
Bye for now.